I have wanted to make this exact video for, well, since Calamity ended. So I'm very excited to talk about this and uh, all I can say is let's just jump into it. Welcome back everybody. My name is Garmin. This of course is the Storycraft Society and this week I'm going to be talking about something a little different than I normally do here on the channel. I named the channel the Storycraft Society not just to talk about crafting terrain for your stories but also crafting stories. And I have just felt so overwhelmingly about EXU Calamity that I just, I had to make this video even though it is out of brand for the channel. This is almost entirely unscripted, so I'm just gonna be thinking at you and hopefully this gets a huge discussion going and all of that fun stuff. All right, so here goes. So I'm gonna start this off by saying, for those of you who don't know, Critical Role is a YouTube show where Dungeons and Dragons is played by professional voice actors and other actors and it's, one of my favorite ways to consume D&D. I just, I think that the version of D&D that they present is something that I find very endearing and that is gonna go into this, but it's also really kind of secondary to the main points, I think, of what I got out of watching Brennan Lee Mulligan and Calamity. I'm gonna say this video should not contain any spoilers. Obviously, if you haven't watched Calamity and you are afraid of spoilers, maybe avoid this video until you've watched the whole thing, but I don't think I'm gonna have any spoilers in it because the things that I'm gonna be talking about, the three things specifically, and you can see from the title where I'm gonna be going with this, but the three things that I'm specifically gonna be talking about that I think that Brennan did an absolutely exceptional job with as a DM that probably will not get talked about anywhere else that Calamity is reviewed are not gonna be spoilers. And they're things that I think that every DM should study and get better at. And I think that it is just absolutely criminal that these are not skills that are talked about more for GMs running tabletop role-playing games. I, I think this is like my sixth <laughs> intro, so I'm just going to jump into number one. Number one, I think Brennan did a phenomenal, phenomenal job of table management. So what is table management? To me, table management is knowing how much time to give to each character and to each scene so that it keeps the story moving forward, being interesting, being dramatic, knowing when to stop a scene, when to encourage a scene to go on longer. That is table management to me. A simpler way that this could be explained that's more useful even to first time GMs is how much time are you going to spend on one particular character at your table? I think that watching Calamity with just the express purpose of studying Brennan's table management is a masterclass in that skill in itself. He just seems to understand when to interject, when to stop a scene, and when to let one go in such an amazingly dramatic and uh, I'm not even sure what the right word I'm shooting for there is. Every time he did it, it felt so right. And none of the characters' scenes ever felt stomped on, and none of the characters' moments ever felt impeded on. They just felt like they had the correct amount of life. So, like I said, number one, table management. Brennan did an awesome job, and I think every DM could study how masterfully he did that during this little mini-series. The next thing that I feel is very important to talk about is how much body work he did. I don't come from a professional acting background. I've never taken improv lessons, although I've wanted to. I've never taken acting classes, although I've wanted to. But the thing that I found so impressive about Mulligan, kind of in contrast to Mercer, his accent work was not that wide. I mean, I felt like he did a great job with his accents and how he manipulated his vocal 
range, right? Mercer is certainly better at that, in my opinion. But what I found so awesome was how Mulligan would direct you to look certain places and would make a scene feel wider using his hands, using his posture. And that actually can be expanded upon into the way that I first experienced him as a GM. I have never watched any of the Dimension 20 stuff before. EXU Calamity was my first time being introduced to Mulligan. And so I was like, I'll give the guy a chance. And after the intro in episode one, where he was so throwaway about the whole thing, so blasé about the whole thing, I literally looked over at Olivia, for those who don't know, my better half, and I told her, I'm gonna give this guy five minutes. Otherwise, I, I, this isn't worth my time. And when he started into Xerxes intro, that dream sequence, I just, fell down the rabbit hole of being captivated by the scene that he painted. That idea of using your body language as much as your voice, you know, I think as DMs, at least I do, I fall into this thing where I'm thinking every NPC needs to be different in here, but that's not true. And I feel like, again, another just absolute masterclass on using your body to help tell your story as the dungeon master is Brennan through the EXU Calamity series. Number three, I think is my favorite, although I think the table management one is the most important. And this is a message that I could literally make a video every single day and put it out, and I think every Dungeon Master needs to hear this over and over and over and over again. The thing that maybe more than anything else that Brennan Lee Mulligan did is he let the heroes feel heroic. That sounds like something that every person out there would be like, well, no, duh. It's a game where you're playing heroes. I don't necessarily mean heroic and like, dun, 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 save the day, right? What I mean is he let them feel awesome. Laren would make decisions and do things and describe things that would make her feel awesome. And Abrea is an absolute genius also. I could make a full series out of this where I just talk about how each person who played in that game was brilliant in a thousand different ways. I guess if you really enjoy this video, let me know because I would love to keep talking about that. Brennan just did a phenomenal job and you could watch through Calamity a few times just to pay attention to how every move he made made the decisions of the characters feel big, feel impactful, feel weighted. Not always feel good, but feel weighted. The characters felt validated. The, the choices and the moves that they made, I can't come up with a better word other than impactful. Every single GM, myself, included needs to remember that's why we keep coming back to play this game to feel impactful on the story and this was a little mini series that everyone knew what was going to happen in the end bumping the mic everybody knew what was happening in the end we all knew how calamity would end in a nutshell we didn't know the specifics but we knew how it was going to end in a nutshell and still, he just did such a phenomenal job of making everything feel big. So those are my three major things that I took away from watching Brennan Lee Mulligan in Calamity. So just as a recap, it was table management skills. He was just a genius at that. Number two, using your body to make your narrative feel big or small body language. And third, it was don't forget the goal of the game is for your players to feel like they impacted the story, even if everyone knows what the ending is going to be. This is not a video where I intend to just blow smoke up Mulligan's butt, but watching it, it wasn't just how emotional I felt because the story was so beautifully told. It wasn't just how great the production was and, like I said, the storytelling itself was. I just was so 
shocked by how many DMing lessons I took away from the whole thing. I just, I felt like it would be a crime if I didn't make a video about it because I'm really excited about it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely do all the YouTube stuff. Leave a comment, leave a like, share this video with a friend that you think would enjoy it. That's the number one way to help a small YouTube channel out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. For anyone who is new to the channel, if this video reaches a different audience than I typically talk to, most of the time I am crafting terrain. You can see all that stuff behind me, uh, but I craft terrain to help me tell my stories and if, that interests you even a little bit. I encourage you to check out the back catalog and see if there's any video that catches your interest. I'm pretty sure there'll be something. They're gonna be a lot flashier than this video was. I felt like if I made this video flashy with a bunch of cuts and all that stuff, it would just take away from the anchoring point. I mean, I'm not saying I'm Matt Koval here, but he can make a video where he doesn't have anything else other than his face, so. <laughs> I'm trying. Matt Koval, if you see this, you're a genius too. I could make a lot of videos on how Matt Koval is a genius also. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. Until next week, I'll be seeing you.